embrace the uh, analytics side of things. Dimes, he's in at shooting guard. Evans and Davis are your small and power forwards. Alexis Ajinsa is out there with Holiday, so that's the group out there for New Orleans. They get it back. Here's Davis. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Davis has got eight here in the quarter. Tell you what, since the end of the first quarter, he has really come alive. To the paint. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. And for the Sixers, their new stat-driven decision-making permeates the organization from ownership, Steve, to the front office all the way down to the coaching staff. Well, that's where the league seems to be going, Kevin. You know, teams are trying to think further ahead and see opportunities for strategic advantages. But, look, it's still a balance. You've got to have chemistry and coaching, and those numbers will come in play. But they can't be the be-all, end-all. Six to shoot. Here's Covington, and he gets it to go. Covington's got ten. So the 76ers, their last game, a loss to Memphis. Was not a very inspired performance for them, particularly defensively. I thought, uh, you know, they gave the, the hostile crowd a lot to cheer about, frankly. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop, a lot of open jumpers, and in the end, the opponent's shooting percentage was right through the roof, and you can't win when that's the case. are starting to warm up from the field for them this quarter as they add to their lead. Yeah, it seems like everybody, Steve, has the hot hand right now. Embiid touched the pick for Roten. Feeds it to Robinson. Baseline try. Rebound by Dines. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. Evans outside. Here's Dimes. The basket good off the assist from Evans. That's 10 points for Dimes. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Yeah, well, 10 of their last 12 points have come off of assists. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Roten kicks to Covington. This one for three. Evans with the rebound. Evans has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Goes up the baseline, and he connects with the jumper. Evans has got 10 points in the game. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Here's Roten. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Pelicans lead by 18. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. All right, listen up. Terrific job so far. The fans are into this game, and we're going to keep them there. With our defense, we have torn them up. I'm not sure they're going to come out for the second half. When we play deep with this much grit, it is no fun to take us on. 
One place we've had success was in the low post on offense. Great positioning, good job finding the open passing lanes and getting the ball in tight. And in the third and fourth quarters, guys. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a... New Orleans with the ball. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Embiid is out there with Thomas Robinson. Then there's Isaiah Cannon. Then it's Richardson. And it's Covington in at the small forward. And the shot is good. Cunningham's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Pelicans. 76ers shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Cannon dishes to Embiid. Inside, Cannon, the pass to Robinson. Cranes it from nine feet away. Gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. Here's Cole. And the pass to Dimes. Evans outside. Pass to Dimes from deep. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. Evans has got three assists in the game. Dimes got most of his shots to fall. Six makes in nine tries. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Robinson sets a screen for Richardson. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. Well, the pick worked really well there. Nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. Evans kicks to Cole. Back to Evans. Here's Dimes. Six on the shot clock. From the wing, another one falls for New Orleans. They've built this lead through plays exactly like that. He's easily been their most consistent performer. Well, he's been splashing everything today. There's a screen by Robinson. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. Here's Cole. Another one falls for New Orleans. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Poked away, and that'll be Philadelphia as it goes out of bounds. 76ers retain possession. Quincy Pondexter, he's checked in for New Orleans. And some changes here for the 76ers. Philadelphia with the ball. Sampson, the pass to Smith. An eight rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Here's Pondexter. He's guarded by Mbamute. Pondexter, the pass to Dimes. Just five to shoot. Pulls up. And the shot falls short this time. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. To the wing on the left. Here's Sampson. Can't get it to go. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Dimes, the pass to Withy. Plenty of space. Gets it to go. That one good from Dimes. Dimes got seven points for the quarter. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Here's the screen. The drive by Smith. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's costly. And Cole kicks to Withy. And the layup's good off the glass. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for New Orleans. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And I love their hustle because they're getting a lot of second chance opportunities just as a result of playing hard. Smith dishes to Emba Amute. Down low. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. Still Pelicans ball. 
Three seconds on the shot clock. Three. New Orleans has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Cole, the pass to Cunningham. Kicks it to Pondexter. Now the dish to Cunningham. Pass to Dimes. Releases. Hits the front of the rim and out. The 76ers shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just total obliteration. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Pelicans. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, Stephen Clark. Uh, an all-around dominant performance. Clark, and you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. I certainly did. And they just cracked it open and made it an NC. No contest. Yeah, I like this. And guys, at this point in the long NBA season, this will go down as win number 25. And the one-sided season series this has been. I mean, in the final game of the year between these two teams, they do everything necessary to finish up with a 2-0 record against the 76ers. And you have to look back at this and see what a huge game it's been for Tyreek Evans. Every time there was a big possession or big play, he was contributing in some manner. Just a great game for him. And that one's good. And the fans loving what's transpired here tonight. A really good victory for these guys. Sure was. I mean, they did just what they needed to do to keep the visitors from getting any momentum going at all. And there's the pass to Sampson. And it's Smith penetrating. And the shot is good. Boy, if they could have had this kind of run earlier in the game, it might have made a big difference. You know, I think a big reason behind the run, Steve, is that they're not getting pressured as much by the defense now that the game's all but finished. Here's Cole, covered by Smith. Cole, the pass to Dimes. Three-pointer. So we see the Pelicans taking the W here. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Dimes.